Twitch's self-destructive tendencies are almost impossible for them to get rid of. So now they've fully angered, they fully pissed off Ninja. They've made him upset. Why? Because Twitch no longer allows Ninja, the biggest streamer on their platform, to stream on multiple platforms while simultaneously streaming on Twitch. Why? Because, of course, Twitch wants to hog all of the benefit of having Ninja on their play. They want to make sure Ninja can't benefit anybody but them. But it's weird that Twitch is doing that at a time like this when the competition has never been thicker. But let's see what Ninja himself has to say about this. As far as I can talk, I mean, I can talk infinite shit to Twitch if I wanted to because I'm not, allowed, I'm not streaming there right now. Because, to your question, no, I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to multicast anymore to YouTube and Facebook while I'm streaming at Twitch at the same time, even if I'm not a partner. I'm not a partner, I'm not an affiliate, yet the rules apply to me as well. Which is so tone deaf, it's crazy, man. Notice what he said. He said he's not an affiliate and he's not a partner, meaning Twitch is not paying this anything. They're not paying Ninja anything, no pun intended. They're not paying Ninja anything at all. He's not a partner. He is not under contract. And yet they are holding him to these standards and rules. You can't stream on our platform and other platforms. It's either us or them. But we're not, we're not paying you any money to stay here. We're not doing you any extra favors because we're asking you to cut out all these other sources of revenue just for us, even though we're not giving you shit. It's almost like Twitch wants to self-destruct. Who the hell do they think they are? Who the hell does Twitch think that they are? They really think that at a time like this, when Rumble and Kick are on their ass, they can sit here and just make demands? Do they not realize they are in a Mexican standoff right now? They're delusional. I'm gonna go my little, I'm gonna have my little monologue after this, after this game, win or lose. All right, dude, monologue time. Let's get it, bro. I've been waiting my entire life, you know? I've, I've stayed out of drama so much and I've stayed out of like my opinion, like forcing my opinion on like certain situations. Honestly, almost everything that Twitch has done in the last couple of years, I really haven't touched on it at all, right? Like the ad revenue, all the ads, I haven't touched. I don't think I've touched too much on this. The, I don't even think I made, I didn't make a comment. I didn't make a video about like the 50%, like switching back to 50-50 for sub revenue. I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, Twitch takes 50% of the sub revenue from their creators. And if you're wondering what that means, when you sub to a creator on Twitch, it's like you, you pay them. You don't do it for free like on YouTube. You don't just say subscribe. No, you pay to subscribe to their channel. Twitch takes 50% of the money you make from subs if you're a content creator, while also simultaneously trying to turn you into a damn slave. I didn't touch on that. I didn't really, like, I really have been quiet, right? I'm, because I guess I'll tell you what, I guess I'll tell you what my goal was. So the last eight months, the last eight, I think I've been doing this for eight months. Andre, you could correct me if I'm wrong. Plus or minus a month, I think. I've been just streaming everywhere, right? I took, went on this journey just to multicast. Um, and I had a bunch of goals. Um, one of those goals, truly, one of those, the one of the reasons I did it was because I thought that my goal was, one of them was to have Twitch eventually realize, oh my God, there's no reason not to partner Ninja and let him stream everywhere. And that's just not me. It just means like everybody. I, my goal was to get them to change their terms of service in the opposite direction. Here's, here's another thing that's going on, right? Here's another thing that's going on. Twitch came out with a new rule about ads on their platform. Let's look at what they say. So Jake Lucky, our residential fucking, you know, school tattletale. If you're a content creator, Jake Lucky is basically Randall from Recess. His job is to expose all of us for doing things we might not supposed to be doing. He reposts a post by a guy named Zach Busset. Twitch has, has new branded content guidelines. On-stream logos are limited to 3% of the screen size. So it could be a logo of, it could be your name. It could be, it could be my initials, RC. That logo needs to be limited to a 3% of screen size, meaning you can't even promote your damn self. You got to make it real small so you're not getting in the way of Twitch's shine, okay? Who do you think you are, content creator? Who do you think you are? Burned in video ads are not allowed, meaning that if good ranchers, I, I, wish, they were, I wish they were endorsing me, but they're not. But, you know, if any of these other platforms, excuse me, not platforms, if any of these companies were paying you money, 
you cannot put in video ads. You can't go in the in the middle of a stream and say, "Hey guys, you know, Good Ranchers fucks with me, or this 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 co this company is paying me. Da, 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 da. This company wants me to show you this product, whatever. I love using this. I love using that. You can't do that. If the money you're making is not directly going through the channels of Twitch, you aren't allowed to make that money. That's why they won't let you do any in video ads. Haven't you heard, boy? Haven't you heard that you're now Twitch's slave as of today? Haven't you heard? That's what's happening right now. Burned in display ads are not allowed. So you wanted to put a lower third in your little video? You wanted to put a little Good Ranchers lower third in your video or whatever else? I'm sorry, Good Ranchers is on my mind because just that's the first ad I could think of. I watch the Daily Wire. Like, just bear with me. You wanted to put a little lower third ad in your video? Who do you think you are? We're Twitch. You wanted to make money? Or you wanted to make ends meet? Oh, you wanted to make a little bit of cash? Fool ass nigga. Fuck wrong with you. Get the ads off our screen. That's what Twitch is saying right now. Burned in audio ads. You can't even advertise with the audio. Yo, Twitch, y'all are demonic for this. This is just evil. You want to know why Twitch is doing this? Twitch doesn't want you to make any money without them being able to take a cut. Because see, all of these different forms of ads, these are ads that are usually done in a manner that isn't involving the content platform. So like when the daily, like when, when Brett Cooper on the Daily Wire or Ben Shapiro is like Good Ranchers. Good Ranchers is not making a deal with YouTube and the Daily Wire. They're making a deal strictly with the Daily Wire. YouTube has nothing to do with that advertisement for the most part, if at all. That is why those types of ads have not been allowed on Twitch. They don't want you making any money without them at all if you're not going to cut them in they don't want you having that money this is what twitch is doing and i'm, I'm glad that jake lucky our residential i, I don't want to call him sheriff because that's too badass our residential let's just call it what it is tattletale salute to you jake i'm glad that our residential tattletale is standing up for the rest of us now we got moist critical i always thought his name was crazy he says it's actually impressive how Twitch manages to make the most dog shit changes imaginable. It really is. It's almost like, I feel like there's a department, I feel like there's a bullshit department at Twitch. And the bullshit department's job is to figure out how can we alienate our consumers and content creators even more? How much fuckery can we stir? How much bullshit can we create and spread into the ether? How much discomfort, distaste, anger, regret, and frustration can we sow amongst the people who make us money every day? That uh, literally there's no other explanation. I don't know any other company that pokes the bear this much. Even YouTube, as big as they are, for the most part, are like, okay, guys, uh, just do your thing. You know, if, if we need to step in, we will, but just chill. Twitch is all up in your business, fucking you over, all up in your grill. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Ban, ban, ban. It's like, damn, nigga, what the fuck? What is this, Twitch or prison? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, where are we at, bro? Like, what's going on? You would have thought YouTubers were outlaws. You would have thought Twitch streamers were outlaws the way Twitch be doing folk. I'm like, bro, y'all all up in everybody's business. That's why YouTube is going to outdo Twitch. I'm, I, I'm telling you, bro. Now, Mr. B says they should be angry about this. People are struggling to get by, have just had their income cut for literally no reason. I love how as Twitch gets more competition, they just double down on doing dumb things. Now, it's time for me to give my speech because obviously my opinion matters so much and I'm so important and blah, blah, blah. But bear with me. Listen to me, okay? Give me some room. Let me, let me, let me cook. Let me get my shit off, okay? The reason why Twitch is so comfortable stomping all over everybody like their NBA young boy or Kirk Franklin, the reason why they like to stomp on everybody is because... You won't do anything about it. See, me, I'm important, obviously, right? I'm so important. I don't have a Twitch account. Now, obviously, that's not hurting Twitch. I'm an unimportant person. I don't get views. Like, I'm, I'm still a small creator. I'm not big. So, like, my lack of membership in Twitch is obviously not their concern. However, the reason why I don't have a Twitch account is because Twitch does these things due to the fact that their viewers don't do anything about it. Advertisers on Twitch have more sway than consumers, not because advertisers are more powerful. It's because advertisers can create the most effect quickly. They can immediately make Twitch feel the ramifications of pissing them off. You have a Twitch streamer on your platform that's hurting our, our look, 
we can't run ads on that streamer's uh, stream, and we honestly don't want to run ads on your platform because this is a bad look for us. Twitch will immediately acquiesce and give in to these advertisers because the consequences are swift. You, the viewer, though, your favorite streamer gets banned. The moment Twitch does something you don't like, what do you do? Nothing. All you Kai Sinat fans, when Twitch banned you, when when Twitch banned Kai, what did you do? You went to go watch Phantom. You went to go watch Duke. You went to go watch Davis. You went to go watch Agent. Morons. If Twitch is banning your favorite creator and bullying your favorite creator, why are you going to go then continue to give Twitch more money and more attention? Stop watching Twitch. If you want Twitch to listen to you, make them go broke. Stop streaming their platform. Moron, fool ass niggas. What, what, other, what other solution do you think that there is? You think you could get Twitch to listen to you when every single time they kick you in your ass, you keep coming back? Why would they stop? Every time they do some shit you don't like, you keep watching their platform. Obviously, Twitch is going to continue to piss you off. What reason do they have to stop? You're not going to go anywhere. That's why I don't have a Twitch account. Now, obviously, I'm not important, I know. But if you want these platforms to listen to you, you need to do what advertisers do. Hurt their pockets. The reason why advertisers feel comfortable doing the things that they do to these companies, the reason why advertisers are able to have so much sway, the reason why advertisers are able to swing their weight around is because they can create the, the most immediate effect. You, the viewer, though, you don't even realize you are the most powerful entity in this ecosystem. You're more important than us, the content creators. You're more important than the, than the platform, and you're more important than the advertisers. All three of these entities, the creator, the platform, and the advertisers, we all want your attention. I'm making this video hopefully so you can watch it. YouTube has its platform so that you can watch me on their platform. The advertisers are paying YouTube to show their ads so you can buy their products. You are the most important and most powerful entity in this ecosystem. But because you're so blind and refuse to see the truth, you're going to continue to stream on Twitch. You're going to continue to watch streamers on Twitch after they've banned your favorite streamer. They banned Kai Sinat for doing too much nasty stuff on GTA. Well, I'm going to go watch Duke now. I'm going to go watch Davis now. Dweebs. Y'all are stupid. Y'all are morons. Stop watching them on Twitch. Go watch them on YouTube. Stop watching these dudes on Twitch. Stop. That's why Twitch won't stop bullying your favorite content creator. That's why Twitch won't stop doing the opposite of what you want them to do. Because you won't make them pay. You won't hurt their pockets. That is the most important thing in this entire ecosystem. Money. And you are the most important part of this ecosystem. You bring all the money. You, the consumer. You, the person watching this. Not me. Not Twitch. Not the advertisers. You. That right there is why Twitch is doing all these nasty things and getting away with it. That is why Twitch, despite the fact that YouTube is their biggest competition, Kick is literally right behind them, ready to knock their ass the fuck out, and Rumble is peeking around the corner, ready to shoot everybody down. The reason why Twitch, in spite of all of these things happening around them, in spite of the fact that the competition is getting thick, and it looks like Twitch is on their way out, despite all of these things, Twitch is still comfortable doing things that you don't like because your ass ain't going nowhere. They're confident. They're cocky because they think your ass ain't going nowhere. You have to show them that you're willing to leave. That is why Twitch continues to bully its creators because the creators won't leave and the consumers won't leave. And the creators have grown a bit of a backbone and they're packing their bags and saying, okay, bye Twitch, we're gonna go to Kick. Bye, we're just gonna go to YouTube. Bye, bye, why are we staying here for you? Bye. The reason why Twitch still doesn't care is because you're still here. You, the person watching this video, you're still gonna stream Twitch, aren't you? You're still going to go watch Kai. You're still going to go watch Duke, Phantom, Aiden, Your Rage. You're still going to go, well, Aiden's like, on kick, my bad. You're still going to go watch everybody that's still alive on Twitch. Hassan, all of them, you're still going to go watch them. You haven't learned yet. You don't get it. You just don't get it yet. You just, it, the, the, the lesson just hasn't, you just haven't absorbed the lesson yet. That is why I don't have a Twitch. And like I said before, I know I'm not important. I know me not having a Twitch is the most, I know it's not important, but Imagine if all of you guys that have a grievance with Twitch all got rid of your accounts, left them inactive. What would happen? Twitch would have to reform. All those people doing all that shit that no one likes, they'd get fired. I'm telling you, these companies will even, these companies will turn on themselves if it means making money. They will turn on themselves and start hurting each other to make money. If y'all leave tomorrow, to delete your accounts, leave them inactive, whatever, these companies will change. But as long as you stay, there's no reason for them to stop. 
I wouldn't stop. I, if I'm Twitch and I'm doing all the stuff that y'all don't like, but y'all ain't going nowhere, and I'm still making billions of dollars per every five years, or maybe even per every year, why would I? Why would I acquiesce to your demands? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. It's like telling a bully to stop. They're not gonna stop. You're not gonna do anything about it. It's not until you sh sh shove a pencil in their eye. It's not until you bring a, a knife to school, bash them over the head, whatever. It's not until you come prepared for war that they realize, oh, okay. I'm done. I'm, I'm I'm done bothering you. I'm done. I'll leave you alone now. You're 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 clearly not going to just let me do whatever. So I'm going to find another victim. Twitch is comfortable pissing you, the consumer, off, me, the creator, off. Because what are we going to do about it? Nothing. So with that being said, my black ass, I already deleted Twitch. I don't use that shit at all because I'm convinced that that is the only way to get Twitch to understand my grievances as not only a content creator but i'm a i'm still a consumer even though i watch content i'm still a content consumer just like you watching this video i'm not special i'm just a guy with a camera i'm not important i'm not special you guys however are so for those of you who are pissed at twitch hurt them hurt them in their pockets stop using it stop using their platform i don't use twitch for what to watch who to what to, to feed the to feed the machine absolutely not i'm not gonna do that bro y'all got it I'm not playing. I'm not taking part. So this is what I think about the Twitch situation. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.